Jason, let's just start with a little war wound you've got uh, on your lip there. Uh, just a bit of a clash against Charlie. Yeah, it was in the first 10 seconds. I uh, got elbowed, so I want the best start, but uh, just something you have to get on with. Just looking back at that game then against Charlton, a um, bit of a, a lacklustre performance and atmosphere. It was a bit of an odd night at Ellen Road. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean we've, we've got to get the crowd going, I think. Um, so, you know, we'll take, we'll take that on board and uh, I think we know we can play better, especially the first half and the passing was off and I don't know what it was. It was just one of them, one of them games, but you get them games sometimes and you just got to try and get through it and I think um, we could have nicked it, we could have lost it and I think... We, we want to win our home games, obviously, um, but when when we sometimes don't play so well, it's so good to get a, get a result and get that point, um, but we want to put it right on Saturday. Do you think it could have been maybe down to a little bit of what happened on Friday night? There was a lot of emotional energy put into the game at Hillsborough. Uh, no, nah, I don't think so. Um, I think we've got, you've got to prepare. We, we, we've had enough days to prepare for the game, so no, nah, I'm not putting anything down to the to the Sheffield Wednesday game. Yeah, everyone put a lot of, lot of effort in and into the game and, and, and we got got the result, got a good result in the end. Um, but we want to win our home games and we need to put that right. And the results went for the side on Tuesday night, though despite only being a point, managed to climb up to seventh in the table. It, it seems to be going that way, doesn't it? Everyone can beat everyone, as the old cliche is. Yeah, no, nah, definitely. And everyone can beat everyone in this league and just goes to show how tight the league is. Um, and I think that'll, that'll stay like that for, throughout the whole season. Probably maybe a couple might pull away um, at the top and, and obviously the bottom. Um, but you know it's um, it's going to be a tough tough season, um, and it's just all about consistency in this league. If we can get, we're obviously unbeaten in I think it's six, um, but we need to turn some of them draws into wins um, and start to start there. How are you assessing the defensive displays? Things have moved around sometimes. Lee Peltier has been a left back, a right back. You've been the ever present in the centre. How are you assessing it? Uh, you know I think the gaffer's just trying to get that that winning formula and and what he sees is, be is his best back four or his best eleven. Um, I'll just try and give 100% and, and hopefully that's good enough to stay in the team. Luckily enough so far I've stayed in the team. But no, I mean, we've got a good squad here um, and then the players that do come in are quality quality players, you know, and Adam Jury's sometimes come come in and then out and he's been he's been brilliant every time he's played. So, no, I mean, the players that have played have done well. I mean, we, we've been disappointed with the amount of goals we conceded, especially early on in the season. Um, so we wanted to try and put that right. Recently, we haven't conceded as many, but we still want to get some clean sheets, and um, and then we can build on that. It's a hard-working squad as well, isn't it? Even even the defence, the midfield in front of you, and the attackers. Everyone, everyone manages to pitch in when you are on the back foot at times. Yeah, I mean, defensively, it starts from the front. If Bex and Jufi um, are defending well, always it helps out the midfield and it helps out defence. So no, I mean, it's, it's a massive team game. I would never say down, down to the defence um, that, that do work that do well to keep the goals out. It's the whole team. So, no, I mean we, we defend together and we attack together and we win games and we lose games together, and that's that's the way it should be. Is there a good spirit like that as well? Because it seems to be on the pitch. Is it the same off? Yeah, yeah. No, we, there's a good, great spirit here, and uh, there's been a lot of changes in the summer and a lot of new faces have come in, but we've all gelled together well, and I think, still think we're gelling now. Um, I think the game on Tuesday wasn't a true reflection of, of what we're about and I think we all we all know that and we all want to put it right on Saturday. Do you think it's a side that'll get stronger than as you go on from what you say there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean I think probably the gaffer will want to bring a couple of new faces in in, in January to strengthen the squad. Uh, he's brought Ryan Hall in. Um so he would be a good addition. Um and then, you know, we're looking forward to it. We just need to get that consistency and at the end of the day we are unbeaten six, which is a good thing. Uh, it's a good sign. Uh, we just want to turn them draws into wins now. And it certainly won't be a, a quiet atmosphere this weekend against Birmingham. They'll bring in a, a fair amount of fans up as well. It's going to be quite a tasty game this weekend. Yeah, no, Birmingham um, are a quality side. They've got some real good players there. And Marlon King scored a hat-trick the other night, so he'll be a tough player to play against. But, you know, it's, um, <laughs> that's why we come here. We want to play against the, the, the players like this. Um, and, and the teams like Birmingham, I mean, they've probably underachieved at the moment. They're a massive club, so they'll be wanting to put that right. And, and we want to put our performance right on the pitch as well we're on home soil so we want to do well you've mentioned Marlon King but they've got quite a lot of attacking players haven't they they know how to find the back of the net yeah definitely they, they, they've got some real quality players and a young, a young lad in uh, Nathan Redmond who's, who's a quality player and a hot prospect so now we have to be on our toes and really be on our game if we're not on our game then we'll lose the game so we, everyone has to be on their game um, and we all have to be give 100% and hopefully we can put it right